Okay, here is another example for partial quotients. It's got a little bit of a bigger dividend, so I want to show you what you can do when you might not necessarily know right off the top of your head what the biggest multiples are that you can take out of your uh, dividend. So for example, we're going to do 3, so 492 divided by 3. Remember, I want to extend this line out so that I can keep track of what I'm taking out as I go. So, remember, you always want to just think of your friendly benchmark numbers right away. So, I know that I can multiply 100 times 3 and get 300. And I know that that's a big chunk of my dividend that I can take out. So, if I am taking out 300 out of my dividend, I know that 3 times 100 got me to that answer. So 100 groups of 3 are what I'm taking out first. Okay, that left me with 192. Well, I don't necessarily know a number that I can multiply by 3 to get me to 192 or even close to 192. This is where off to the side you can kind of just keep track of multiplication problems um, and just sort of work some guess and check off to the side. So for example, I'm just going to try a random number. And remember, try and pick easy numbers that you know you'll be able to work out uh, in your head. So I might just try off to the side. I'm going to try 3 times 50 off to the side. I know that 3 times 50 gets me 150. Remember, because 3 times 5 gets me 15, add a 0 for the 50. Okay, 150 is pretty close to 192, but maybe I could even get closer. So maybe I want to try 3 times 60. It doesn't matter what numbers you try, but remember, you want to try and pick numbers that are easy for yourself. So don't pick just any random number. Try and pick numbers that end with 0, benchmark numbers, that sort of thing. So if I try 3 times 60, well, I know 3 times 6 gives me 18. I know that with that 60, that means I'm, that's, I have to add an, a 0 to the end. 180 is pretty close to 192, so that's the one that I want to use. So if I do 60 groups of 3, 3 times 60, I know I've used up 180 of my dividend. Okay, but I still have 12 left. Well, 12 is a lot easier, so I can do this one in my head. I know that 3 times 4 will get me 12, and I've used up all of my dividend. I've subtracted all of the parts out. Remember, off to the side is where we've kept track of all of the parts of our quotient, all of our partial quotients. In this case, it's 100, 60, and 4, so that'll get me 100, 60, Four. 